Joffre always used to be a man of the wild. He loved the hunting, he loved the fresh air. He liked the outdoorsy nature of being a ranger of Falkreath. He built himself up a small estate in the northern part of Falkreath. Not much to brag about, but most certainly something that he could be proud of. However, lately, the forests of Falkreath have grown unruly. It is said that the northern section, specifically Whiterun, is responsible for that. And Geoffrey, being the man that he is, wants to look into it and wants to help bepeasing the lands once again. Welcome everybody to another episode of Dead is Dead, a permadeath run of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Twix. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death series. This is Diaries of Death number four. We're following a gentleman called Geoffrey Deloch. Uh, he is a Bosmore, a wood elf, and uh, will be focusing his career on archery. Those of you who are unaware, uh, just uh, recovering the rules really quickly. Permadeath runs means one life. Once I die, the run is over. Number two, we're going to look into uh, the tier one, uh, meaning uh, level one to 20 quests that a character can do for uh, Chauffeuré. It is getting the seedling back to white run and establishing a nicely blooming tree, uh, just like an elf uh, would. Number three, uh, the build itself will be an archery focused build since the last uh, build that we've played uh, was a battle mage heavy build with Hermetheus. I figured it is time to do something different so this is going to be an all physical build. We're going to focus ourselves on marksmanship, we're going to focus ourselves on evasion just to tumble around quickly. We're going to focus ourselves on potentially two-handed weapon as a backup just in case we're um, being forced into melee and we're going to focus ourselves on smithing and alchemy uh, to improve our uh, combat prowess. I want to put some sneaking in there but I definitely want to stay away kind of from a sneak archery type of play. A few bits and pieces might be fine but Geoffrey is not a man that is sneaking around like a thief. A bit of poison usage here and there but not a like massive focus of that in any shape or form. So let's take a look at the things from 3 uh, from 3BF Tweak's perspective. We have uh, started to skill into marksmanship, so range combat for lower stamina drain when attacking with bows and the imp all important ranger perk where we are being able to run with uh, light bows in particular. Uh, that, that's super important because we're not uh, slowing down our movement. As for evasion, we just uh, take less cost for attacking and I uh, soon want to go into the dodge perk. So these are two very core skills for us. Sneak might be something that we're dabbling into a few uh, perks at max. Lockpicking I could see like one perk at best. Dexterity could be uh, maybe one to two perks, reduce stamina cost from drawing uh, uh, bows would be uh, definitely advisable and quicker draw, uh, uh, draw speed from bows uh, would be helpful as well. So dexterity is uh, definitely something. For alchemy, I think we're going down the basic route of alchemical lore uh, that gives us just uh, decent potions, improved elixirs, which is fine. And then maybe depending on uh, what we want to do, regeneration for a bit more stamina region. And yeah, really it's it's a basic investment. Maybe at a later stage we're going to go into concentrated poisons. Uh, that will come much, much later. Um, no magic, we already mentioned that. We are not going to go into enchanting but we're certainly going into smithing in particular i want to get arcane craftsmanship which will allow us elemental bolts and arrows uh, that's kind of our bread and butter later and yeah that's it so not a perk heavy build uh, the main uh, points will be in marksman evasion not even sure if i will perk a lot of points into two-handed uh, weapons to be entirely honest uh, we could carry one we could 
might as well just carry a one-handed weapon and use it on perk uh, for the period of time we'll go as we as we see fit for now uh, it's uh, supposed to be a ranger character take a, let's take a look at all of his equipment we got ourselves a massive amount of i think 90 gold pieces 98 uh, gold pieces uh Joffre is starting with fur armor uh, that is the least of the least armors um, he has a high shield uh, that he found but no weapon at uh, the moment uh, and he has a nice hunting bow plus a couple of iron arrows um, a few normal potions and a veggie soup this here is uh, the you've bought an estate start of live another life ignore the carriage ignore the horse all of that is not there if at a later stage we're going for a horse i will pay the uh, price potentially a bit of a reduced price but i will deduct that amount but for now joffrey this is what what we're seeing he i want to play him as having a small estate so maybe this year could be his room he's sort of uh, sleeping um, in in the uh, side there and these are some of his trophies i'm not even sure if he has ever hunted the saber cat uh, likely not but yeah that that's really what he's dealing with at the moment all right so without further ado let's jump into it good of course i forgot something very important in all of uh, the dabbling here we wanted to start with our birth sign so we're taking kinnereth Kinrath uh, gives us a couple of uh, topics. Number one, 25 stamina and greater bow damage. Um, additionally, we get a bit of greater run speed depending on the number of locations that we have discovered, which fits nicely into the character. Then, additionally, if we can get the Gilden Green uh, done, we will also get a 50% greater stamina regeneration. That is the tree in uh, Wild Run, uh, in White Run. So that's our quest, so to uh, so to speak. We want to f uh, follow that deity with all of the typical limitations: can't steal too much, can't murder, and etc. etc. And we need to choose a birth sign. And is that I thought we're going either lady or thief. I think we're going for thief due to a couple of uh, topics. Um, thief itself uh, will give us a bonus on lock picking, so we can do that sort of unperked for the beginning. And a bit on stealth, both uh, are not bad. Uh, we get a greater reserve of stamina uh, and a bit more stamina regeneration. That is good. And the reason why I wanted to take it is they gravitate towards one-handed weapon and bows. So potentially in that uh, in that uh, way we might even play one-handed uh, as a, an unperked normal uh, weapon. The other option would be the uh, the lady as a stone, which would give us stamina and uh, and health plus more stamina regeneration that's also a good one but i think i want uh, to go with uh, the various small uh, advantages of uh, the thief perk good so that's the horse that we can get later i said ignore the uh, the carriage and instead we're going to make our way into the woods good we find ourselves at lake uh, view manor like I said, ignore the horse for now. So if we go into the wilds with our least qualified bow. In order to find ourselves some upgrades, hopefully. There's a bit of a blockage down here. An ambush location for bandits. Both of the bandits here. Uh, wow, well, he just died. And uh, since he died uh, by falling down, that means we're not going to get any experience from him falling down. Well, 
We hit him in the arm. Not in the knee. Couple of iron arrows. I took auto looter this time, so you will see that I will not need to go into detailed looting. Couple of small upgrades though, and uh, Bratton's um, Osmar can eat the intestines of other races. Which basically helps them to uh, maintain not only well in shape, but get really nice combat bony. Much better than normal food. Good, we got leather boots, leather armor, leather helmets. That's actually a really nice upgrade. Getting fur away. Leather boots, leather bracer, leather helmet. And let's take an iron dagger. My itch is better than nothing. Not the perfect loadout for backup weapons, but it's okay for now. Um... I am wondering where to go next. I think we're going to explore Falkreath uh, uh, first. And let's take that longbow as well. Might always be able to use uh, that. Yeah, that, uh, that will be good. Okay, cool. So, next up, Falkreath, and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we went uh, from that initial ambush explored uh, Peak Shades Tower. There's uh, a big fat Shrigan in there, so we're not fighting it. Then went to Falkreath, uh, got a few orders from the Jarl, and now exploring the very south here to see where the disturbance is coming from. Currently at Haldren's Karn, a cave that is quite usable for starting characters, if you know when to stop. Uh, it is an undead filled cave, so it's far beyond the reaches of what we uh, can do at the moment. But we do have a few corpses for free loot. And some of it is definitely good. Like that iron mace here would be an upgrade for our one hand. That iron sword would be an upgrade for our one hand. Just trying to get some food. Uh, we're not going two-handed uh, yet. Leather could be a small upgrade. Sleeping one hour will uh, give us the well-rested bonus. And this year basically explains how they went into the cave and got completely shed on. That, that, and that. And that. And that will give us the property. So the trick is not to trigger uh, the enemies, the ghosts uh, that lurk uh, down there. And instead, in the meantime, just get a bit of extra loot out uh, of here. It's kind of an invisible uh, trigger the moment that you pass that line. So it's an okay amount of loot, like nothing to write home about, but we'll get a few gemstones. They are worth uh, decent money. You get plenty of alchemical supplies in here which we're going to use once uh, we do a bit more alchemy later so yeah decent uh, cave as a starter I figured I share that uh, with you to showcase how at the very beginning I'm starting with a character getting literally all of that out of here and then that's that next up 
we need to kill a couple of orcs. Good, we got our first random encounter. The black bear, brown bear. Oh, it's two of them. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that does not look good. We'll need a couple of trees to hide behind. Bears can't really deal with uh, trees uh, very well. They want to charge you. And if they can't do that... They become highly insecure. Okay, cool. So, that's one bear down. Now, it will become substantially more manageable. Basically, ring around the rosy. By the way, I should use other arrows. I spend all of our money for steel arrows. So that we do have a higher impact uh, damage against cloth armor and can one shot enemies. Need to manage the stamina here. Okay, we will loot claws because uh, they help with stamina recuperation. Little trick. And there's quite a bit of game and hunters. Iron arrows, lockpicks are helpful. That is helpful. I think that's pretty much it. Cooked beef isn't bad either. Uh, I think the steel sword actually is an upgrade. Um, mm, iron sword definitely can go. 66. I tell you what, I think the steel sword is the way to go for now. Although. On a second thought, let's go with the Iron Maze. The reason why I would do that is we are particularly weak at the beginning of uh, the game against heavy armor. And swords in particular deal less damage against heavy armor, so we are taking blunt weapons. Yeah, I'll just leave the rest here. Good, we're off uh, to the next camp. Good. Time to do this. We are going in with our heaviest bow. And steel arrows. Fully loaded string. need to regenerate stamina a bit. Come on. It's not my fault that you guys are 
incapable of just passing through that. Slowly but surely healing up, waiting for them to come around. They typically take the very long route. Whilst we're waiting. Let's get that guy down. And let's regenerate some stamina. The beginning you gotta use the pathing to your advantage. I could do the same with clipping over uh, the stones. I deliberately uh, refrain myself from positioning uh, myself out of bounds and just letting them uh, stand in front of me whilst I shoot them. But unless I I want a melee confrontation, this is as good as it gets. So you're hiding, that is your solution. Well, to be fair, they weren't much more successful beforehand, so him hiding is just a different strategy. I need to regain stamina. Alright. Four orcs down. And what we really wanted is... Oily orc meat. That's helpful. We don't need any of the other crap. There's a skill book over here. Orc blacksmithing, we'll take that because it's valuable, quite valuable indeed. Good, and thanks to the outer loot, all of uh, the initial potions have already been looted. We just need. Uh, the food and just double check if any of uh, these items are better wow we even got a good steel sword I think that concludes the looting uh, part. Not sure if we want to do the inside. We definitely need uh, some new food. So let's get rid of uh, that. We do have one orc to go. I'll try to find him and then we'll take the inside. Good, time to clear out the cave, or the keep, rather. Taking my longbow here. And let's run, 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 run. Changing to the short bow and letting them run around the rosies. Uh, 
Seminary regeneration still is one of the bigger problems. Trying it again. Yeah, come on. Well, he can't reach me here, so that would not be fair, but you can reach me here. Which means, just gotta run a little bit longer. I need faster stamina regeneration. We're out of consumables for stem. No more. I yield. I yield. And that's the kill. Good. More oily orc intestines. Leather armor? We do have a leather armor, right? No, we do have a hide armor. Okay, so that actually might be an upgrade. Oh, quite sizable upgrade, to be honest. We're rocking 350 armor. That isn't bad. That's 35% uh, armor reduction before armor penetration. That's not bad. Okay, time to do this. We need some more stamina regeneration. There we go. Bow in hand, and I think there's another boss here. Was Wasn't expecting him to have magic. Never fight a mage. Same goes for tricksters. Stamina, come on. Hmm. What the hell were you thinking? Scroll of invisibility. Ice spike staff, okay. Okay. Well, we are certainly overloaded with the Ice Spike staff. Don't want that. But I would want to have the staff as an option for us. We now have complete leather armor.
There's a good old boss chest. Wonderful. Great loot. I would love to take that orcish mace, but it's a bit heavy for my taste. I don't like it as much. Down here there should be a few more goodies to grab. Yep, there we go. A few more iron arrows. And we're now in the vaults. where the real good stuff is being stored. Fantastic loot. I like it. Can't bash that one open, not yet. Plenty of traps right here. The razor is something that we can't actually use that well, so I'm not sure why we would pick it up, but maybe much, much later. It would be used to smith uh, the Maroon's razor dagger together. Way too early for us to even think about that. But yeah, that was uh, the Cracked Orc Fortress. Good starting point. Let's do skills real quick. Or we continue. It's evasion to 20. And then we're continuing all the way with marksmanship to 25. That'll give us a level up with a level up. We need more stamina for now. And we are going to go into the Dodgeburg. Cool. That's it from the fortress. Uh, let's continue our adventure in Skyrim. We invested all of our money to get to Riften and inside of uh, the city, well not all of the money but uh, the majority were down to 500 gold pieces after looting everything. We haven't sold yet uh, but we should go in uh, to the red way because uh, next up we want to get a ring, then we're getting an amulet and maybe if we're lucky we can even uh, get ourselves some more equipment. All right, let's get these uh, two interested. And when do I learn to use uh, the pause correctly? Good. 
I don't think so, buddy. I do not think that you're going to rip me in half. Good. Their low-life friends are dead, which is the first half of getting into the sewers. <clears throat> now let's hope for a good RNG roll. The ring that we're looking for can have between 20 and 50 percent <clears throat> of stamina regeneration. Let's see, the carved bow. Oh yeah, that's a hunting bow. I think that would be a decent upgrade. Let's try that for a bit. There we go, Ring of Rejuvenation and a couple of magical gauntlet, uh, gauntlets, gloves rather. The ring is a 30% one. Well, not perfect, but at least not minimum roll either. This character is quite hungry when it comes to stamina, so... Not 100% sure if I like it. Off to the second part of our expedition here. Use skill books. Uh, we don't need food. But what we can do is get a few treasures. And the way that we want to do that is by pulling the enemies. So a Thief Guild doesn't know us, but they don't like the Red Way uh, low life. They like it as little as we do. Hopefully that made enough noise. Alright, go ahead guys. We got the uh, finishing blow there. Uh, unfortunately not with that guy. We'll at least get all of uh, the loot, but we won't be able to uh, get the experience. Take out the trash like I asked. Yeah. Threw it at the lake, like you said. Tell me you looked through the trash before you did that. Take it easy, Beckle. How long we known each other? Yeah. Well, I was hoping uh, that uh, they would actually open this uh, door because there is a set of thief armor behind it. One that we could steal. We do have nine, uh, nine iteration or nine items on our lifetime that we can steal, and I would have gladly traded in four or five. for a set of thief armor. As our goddess does not allow us to go into the thieves guild, we're a bit limited.
I'll bash that open. Yeah. Unfortunately, our boot does not allow us to bash the, uh, to increase our stats, which would be needed to bash them open. But I think uh, our inherent through the sea, uh, thief stone ability to open locks should be good. Come on. There we go. It's one open. Apprentice should be much more difficult and I'm not sure how many lock picks we do have. What? Well, we're out of lock picks. That's as good as it gets without a perk. This would be magic bracers, I think. Yeah, better than ours. Yeah, still can't bash them open. Maybe a good idea to come back uh, once we do have a bit more stats to play with. But for now, we got what we came here for, which is uh, two magic items, actually. I'll try to wait and uh, see if uh, this door will be opened due to an NPC passing by, but I'll spare you that uh, time and if I'm successful we are continuing. Okay, we finally made it through the door after a bit of waiting and what we're going to do is we're trying to steal from the Thieves Guild, I know, ironic. We're definitely not supposed to be here in the Sanctum. Putting up some invisibility and using the fact that they are in bed. Move, 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 move. And that, and that, and that, and that. You're not supposed yep, to be I know, here. and we're going Last to leave. leave now. We're going to do exactly that. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure being around. You're not very welcome in the Thieves uh, Guild's hideout. Well, we're now playing a risky game. Uh, as we do have stolen four times, that's still not uh, enough to lose our blessing. We're okay. And it is so in so far a risky game as all of our main equipment is now stolen. But look at that. We got uh, Thief Skills Armor, carrying capacity 20, uh, which is helpful because uh, specifically Bosmar are highly, highly um, scrutinized with a notoriously low carrying capacity. Dexterity skill raised, which is good. Lock picking is okay. I mean, I would argue that armor is not as good as our height bracers that we found and there is a bit of a haggle that's okay for now better than nothing very good looks reasonably cool specifically the haggling will become uh, quite helpful as we go on just getting some free healing uh, stuff here. Now off to finding an amulet because that's the last slot that we're missing. And we'll do that next. Next up 
is right north of Riften, where we are finding the Shrine of Talus, a few more septums, and a free amulet. It's not great, but it is better than nothing. Let's see. Increases whereas movement speed by 2%. So, mild bonus uh, that is. Which brings us to our next target. I think we might want to visit... We might want to revisit Falgreath and clear the area. There are still a couple of bandits <clears throat> in and around uh, Helgen. That could give us some decent XP. Maybe visit White Run. We've never done a full White Run start, and that might be a good time to start with it. A bit of an update about what I was doing behind the scenes. So we traveled uh, to White Run, went into White Run, uh, got into Dragon's Reach, got a first quest for bandits, Redoran's Retreat. That should be good as a starter to get even some more experience. Then I collected a few um, claws in and around here from mud crabs and from wolves and I got some wheat from each of uh, these farms. Then collected uh, the green and the purple flowers and made myself quite a few potions. Uh, wheat plus uh, the blue flowers uh, make a 45 health plus healing potion. Bosmors uh, do have the ability in Requiem to do potions even without a trade. They aren't as great, but uh, they are cheap. Uh, it costs us nothing other than a bit of time. And I got ourselves a few <clears throat> recuperation potions that are almost as good as the deficient, uh, uh, deficient ones. So that is good. We're all set. Secondly, then I went to uh, Greymane, the Master Smith, who for some reason still has AS Shield uh, at sale, which is a two weight, 130 armor shield. Absolutely fantastic. Will be our uh, go to shield for a long period of time. So when we're now uh, going with a shield, we are even clogging 400 armor. Um, so that's not bad. Look at you. What are you doing at my house? And Exactly. See? And that's where a bit of regeneration comes in handy. Cool. Back to my train of, uh, train of thought. We now got everything uh, as a starter from White Run. We got a very solid set of gear uh, to begin with, uh, with the exception uh, of... Oh yeah, one last uh, thing. I looted a giant uh, that the companions killed, got a nice extra arrow, and purchased 15 uh, orcish arrows from Greymane. They will help us to dish out some more damage. And that's really it uh, for now. Sold everything else. And I think next we do the classical start to uh, take on Bandit Camps here and Ember Shard Mine. And then I think episode one will be soon over. You know what? I looked at the timing. Might as well end episode one here and do the remaining few level ups. We wanted to get... Marksmanship to 25, that's great. In terms of thief skills, let's get evasion up to 25. Very well. And then I think the next one, the next more important one would be going for smithing relatively speaking soon or dexterity and i think we're going for uh, dexterity so that i can get the re reduction to bow strings so uh, we started with uh, stamina let's do one health we'll get more stamina in the future 
And we could either get damage with bows flat out increased by 20%. Or we get the eagle eye zoom. I tell you what, we're going to go with the damage increase for now. I like the eagle eye and with the perk of uh, marksman, like the 50 perk, that will change the entire game because it slows down time quite a bit. But for now, let's go with precise aim and that will allow us straight up 20% more damage with all bows. That's a no-brainer. Uh, next up, we're potentially uh, continuing with Eagle Eye and then that won't be so important for us at the moment. That won't be so important. This is melee attacks. That is a fantastic ability, but 75 is quite uh, far in. This is another statistic ability. So for us, um, there is a bit of a perk tax <clears throat> in between the middle, which is mainly melee focus. We don't need spell casting. So yeah, we're going to go further into marksman for now. And I think I would like to go into dexterity soon. Got a huge dexterity increase, so might as well do that. And then jump into uh, the stamina reduction very soon. And that might also be a good, uh, a good option. So with our increased dexterity can go all the way to draw strings already so that'll be our next it's actually even more important than the eagle eye uh, just getting uh, just getting regular shots out and managing our stamina well okay cool so that's that said, i think uh, we end on a high note uh, with episode one joffrey has uh, found his rhythm he has established a certain foothold uh, within Skyrim. And next up, we're going to hunt down bandits and consider uh, that uh, we need um, equipment upgrades. Lots more experience needed as well. So that'll be a, a great second episode. If you want to be a good, as good of an archer as Joffrey is, uh, try pointing towards that like button. I promise you, if you eagle eye and... Um, and do it hard enough then you will be successful and that video gets a like i need to take care of a bear see you later bye bye